Groove Sim, and uh, well, my name's Tom, but this is the Groove Sim channel, and I'm playing some King's Quest, and this is a do-over. Uh, <clears throat> watching the playback from uh, the stream last night, I was not too pleased. So, I decided, you know what, let's do it again, and uh, let's see if we can make this a smoother, crisper, cleaner, more enjoyable well, it was an enjoyable playthrough. That wasn't the, the issue. It was just it just took longer than it had to, and and uh, I just want to see if I could do it better, you know. So that's what this is all about. Uh, <clears throat> have to sign in uh, for some reason. Uh, yeah. So <clears throat> what I'm going to do is start from uh, chapter one. Okay. That's what I'm going. Wait a minute. Available now. Available now. Okay. So I can go ahead and you already own this. Uh, I thought I could just pick it. All right. Let's see. Here's here's what I need to know. Can I? Can I? No. 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 I don't want to. I want to. I want to start <coughs> a new game. How do I do that? How how do I do that? Well, I guess I could, I could delete this. Let's let's go back over here and delete. Yeah, go ahead and delete, and then we're going to start a brand new game. That's kind of a clunky way to have to do it, but there you go. I don't expect any views because I just decided like <laughs> four minutes ago, you know, to do this. So, uh. all right. Yeah, let me uh, check the settings, make sure everything stay the same. Uh, no, settings, Tom. Gameplay. Yeah. Uh, audio, video. Yes. Everything was fine with that, so good. Go up to the well. King's Quest. I, I I did play this a long time ago. But man, oh man, I swear it is just like the first time I, I ever played it because it has been so long. Sounds like I'm talking quiet, it's because I is. <laughs> I am. Uh, wait a minute. How come I'm not hearing the narration from Christopher Lloyd? I had not been back to him in years, but it was the last place yeah, left to look. Yep. The one thing I didn't do was look over here. Those lost wishes weren't the treasure I was after. So we got to go through here and uh, go uh, into the caves. It was not exactly as I remembered it, but it wasn't all that different either.
Purdy. Look at that. Two odd contraptions yeah. guarded the lost treasure. I would have to turn one and <clears throat> see what happened. Well, the answer's pretty friggin' obvious. This dude got just destroyed turning that wheel. So we're gonna turn this wheel. That's what we're going to do. and beds were jammed into every nook and cranny of that cave. It all seems so familiar. It's over here. You see? Buckets, barrels, oh, butter churns, and okay. beds were jammed into every nook and cranny of that cave. It all seems so familiar. Yes, because I just did it like five seconds ago. Alright. So, this is weird. Oh. Even though the bed was very comfortable, this was no time to hide under the covers. Right. A little bit of wait, a stutter wait. there. Hold on, Grandpa. I don't remember this part of the story. Beds hanging from stalactites? We'll get there, Gwendolyn. No worry. No detail in this story will be overlooked. Now, where was I? Ah, yes. As I treaded through the river of rumbling trundles, I feared I knew the source of that deafening wind. to see the dragon here in a bit. Nestled beneath mm. a slumbering pile of teeth and claws was... Fabled Mirror! Oh, so you remember this part of the story. Well, dragons are my favorite. Do you want to tell this part? Yes! King Edward sent me, the greatest knight in all of Daventry, on a quest to return his stolen mirror. A gigantic... Hulking beast of a dragon was the last thing in my way to... In my way to... <laughs> my way to add a shinier hat to my collection. Tippy towing. Check something. So yeah, I, I played this part yesterday and uh, decided to do it again. To start over. I tried to turn that crazy contraption, but it was missing a handle. Someone tampered with it, creating some silly conundrum. Volumes of old books with foreboding titles clutter the shelves of that strange bedroom. 
how to tame a dragon, breaking the spirit of hideous beasts, amateur spells to impress your friends with. <laughs> no books about recovering missing handles, though. So, the missing handle was booby-trapped? What did you do? Well, I used my cleverness to outsmart the trap. Then, I used my cleverness to hide. Luckily, that half-blinded dragon never noticed me in bed. A dragon's eye must be really hard to pierce with an arrow. At archery lessons, I can barely hit a hay bale. It is indeed a, a feat only for skilled archers. Mm. I tried to turn that crazy contraption, mm. but it was missing a handle. Someone tampered with it, creating wait, wait, some wait, 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 silly wait, wait, wait. conundrum. Yes. What did you use to fix the broken switch? Oh. Oh, that's a lot of noise. The dragon's chains were coiled around a gigantic switch mounted to the cave wall. Noted. Yeah, come, come back, come back, come back, come back, come back, come back. Just we. This cave seemed to be filled with failed adventures. All right. Scale. After he briefly basked in the sun, the narcoleptic dragon went back to snoring. I'd probably sleep all day too, if Amira was my only friend. All right, this, this is easy. <clears throat> Watch me screw it up. <laughs> it is easy though. And this is unavoidable. Get to the bed, get to the bed, and hide. Yeah, just uh, weave your way around. Weave or quietly navigate. All the bones. Ladder. Well, 
whoever designed this trap thought they were pretty clever, but I would probably find a way to hit that unreachable switch. Yes. Uh, with... A bow and arrow. Yep. Oh. Now this is when it gets a little bit interesting. Well, it's already interesting. It's a cool game. I love the animation, the humor. The mirror called out to me. Yeah. Mirror's mine. Now, since I was such a dope, uh, this took a little longer than it needed to uh, yesterday. Uh, but I know what I need to do. I mean, so I'm going to Go ahead. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do this. Yeah, it's going to have to happen twice. And once again, ring the dinner bell after this, and. Uh, Go get the mirror. Then a lot of quick time events. Because you want the dragon to feast the furthest away. The further away he is, the better chance you have. Oh! Damn. I uh, pull it, man. God damn, sometimes the fucking prompts. Oh, I'm sorry. I cussed. Oh, go, go, go. Okay, now what? Well, he admires himself with the ground, and uh, that's, 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 that's when the quick time starts. <clears throat> Oh, oh, I went to wrong. <laughs> what a dumbass. Uh, anyways, yeah, I, I just kind of was ahead of myself there. And there's this pause, after pause. Now, I have to get my bow and arrow ready because... Uh, what? What, what the hell? I did not mess this up before. I hit B. I hit B. God damn it. Huh. What the 
Oh, is he on an auto fire? Because I had to do that manually before. <laughs> Not over. Let's go, give me control. Oh boy. With a magic mirror safely in my possession, I dreamt of a daventry I would be rewarded with, and the kingdom it could become. Choices in front of me. Any would clear my path to safety, and all would have rippling consequences. That's it. We cut him loose. My hands were shaking and my arms could barely grip the rope. But with the last of my strength, I climbed out of the well and headed back to the castle. Ever since the magic mirror returned, its reflections have warned the kingdom of danger, kept our family safe, and it has exposed many troublesome crumbs tangled in my beard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. King Edward was so proud that you returned his lost treasure that he made you king. Everyone knows that part. Now, can we get back to that dragon? Gwendolyn, there is so much more to my stories than dragons. I hope this old cap will be remembered for far more than the action tattered across its brim, sewn into the seams of many hidden adventures. All right, let's get back to the dragon. Tell me everything. Like, why did you set the dragon free even though he was trying to eat you? I set him free because, well, over the years I realized that the dragon was not the despicable, hideous beast Daventry had made him out to be. He was just a caged animal that was never shown any kindness. On that day, I forgave the dragon for his atrocious past. You have such a bizarre way of making friends, Grandpa. I guess I do, too. I'm known as Gwendolyn the Popular back home. But only to my stuffed bunnies. I've always found it best to pursue friends where I can, though they don't always feel the same about me. All right, you two. Grandpa needs to rest. Gwendolyn, it's way past your bedtime. Sleep well, Grandpa. I'll be back first thing in the morning. I don't need rest. I'm as spry as I've ever been, though I wouldn't mind a slice of magic fruit.
Well, hello, cousin. Guard! <laughs> I'm glad you're finally here. He's been asking about you for days. I had to sit through the same story five times. We got here as fast as we could. And I like Grandpa stories, especially the ones with dragons. Ah, yes, the legendary beast that he set free. I don't know if he forgets I've heard that story before or he doesn't care, but he loves telling it to anyone that will listen. I'm pretty sure I heard the nursemaids telling his same jokes in the hall. Have you heard anything the doctors are saying? Yes, doctors, wizards, magic elves. Grandfather is fine, Gwendolyn. They all say the same thing. He's just old. He still has a few good years left. Look, we're all excited that your family made the trip, but there's no need to worry. You should get some rest. I'm sure you're scheduled for a full morning of Grandfather's hilarious ramblings. Oh, I'm also scheduled for the tournament tomorrow. Ah, oh, yes, the fencing tournament. You'll love it. I'm, of course, favored to win, and will make sure you have the very best seat to view my victory. The courtyard will be filled with important people and delicious hors d'oeuvres. Oh, um, I'm actually competing in the tournament. Hmm. I had no idea we were hosting a junior tournament. That's incredible. In that case, I will gladly be there to cheer you on and eat delectable appetizers. Nope. No junior tournament. I'll be squaring off against you. I see. Well, perhaps this is the time to stop listening to stories and finally make some of your own. Good night, Gwendolyn. Sleep well. <laughs>